Hey, OKC community family. Uh, my name is Hannah. We are on week four of the Bible reading plan, and today we read through Acts 13, which is a really amazing chapter. It's pretty long, and it's full of a lot of really cool information. But the thing that stood out the most to me, the thing that I really want to talk about, is towards the end of the chapter, it says that Paul and Barnabas were speaking to a whole city full of people. They were proclaiming the good news of Jesus that, you know, what he had done for everyone, that he had also come for the Gentiles. Um, and that, and people were really responding to it. There was a lot of like positivity happening, as you can tell throughout the chapter. But the Jewish leaders were not on board with what was happening. They, it says that they um, were kind of coming after Paul and Barnabas. And by the end of the chapter, it says they were persecuting them and getting them to leave the city. And... It's just a really funny like twist as you as you're reading the chapter. Uh, it seems like kind of a shift in tone. You'd think, you know, after all these things going on and just feeling good about what they're doing, you know, proclaiming the good news of Jesus, and then you know getting persecuted and getting thrown out, you'd think that they would be discouraged. I feel like I would definitely be discouraged. But it says at the end that they wipe the dust off their feet. And they were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit was with them. And um, I just, it kind of caught me off guard a little bit when I read that. Um, even though I probably read it before, but just it caught me off guard in a, in a new way. And I was just thinking about times when I feel discouraged for all kinds of reasons. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be feeling persecuted or anything like that. But when I feel discouraged in general, especially in my faith, you know, this isn't my first reaction all the time, is to be filled with joy and to feel the Holy Spirit, you know, inside me. And um, I just love that about them, that they just, they know their position in the Holy Spirit, and they know who they are in God, and, and that that's the most important thing. It doesn't really matter what these people think about them, because they're not rejecting them, they're rejecting, you know, Jesus. And um, so that just really encouraged me and it challenged me to try to think about, you know, who I am in, in Jesus and that I'm filled with the Holy Spirit and that um, these things don't have to matter as much as I think they do all the time. And so that was a really cool, encouraging thing to me to just get me to think a little bit outside myself sometimes. So I hope that that encourages you today, especially in this time that we're in. And um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week with your families. And I hope we get to see you so soon. We love you. Bye.